Welcome to the Daily Bible for Kids podcast. The day is February the 3rd. My name is Hunter, and we are reading through the Bible. That's something we do every day. We take time in God's Word. We let His Word take its time on us. In fact, kids from all around the world gather here to listen to these amazing stories from the Bible, from Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. And today we are in the book of Exodus. You know, the tougher Pharaoh got on the Israelites, the more discouraged they became. God promised to free the Israelites, but they just felt like giving up. They couldn't figure out what was going to happen to them. Let's read about it from Exodus chapter 6. Then the Lord told Moses, Now you will see what I will do to Pharaoh. When he feels the force of my strong hand, he will let the people go. In fact, he will force them to leave his land. And God said to Moses, I am Yahweh the Lord. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as El Shaddai, God Almighty. But I did not reveal my name Yahweh to them, and I reaffirmed my covenant with them. Under its terms, I promised to give them the land of Canaan, where they were living as foreigners. You can be sure that I have heard the groans of the people of Israel, who are now slaves to the Egyptians, and I am well aware of my covenant with them. Therefore say to the people of Israel, I am the Lord. I will free you from oppression, and I will rescue you from your slavery in Egypt. I will redeem you with a powerful arm and acts of great judgment. I will claim you as my own people, and I will be your God. Then you will know that I am the Lord, your God, who has freed you from your oppression in Egypt, I will bring you into the land I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I will give it to you as your very own possession. I am the Lord. So Moses told the people of Israel what the Lord had said, but they refused to listen anymore. They had become too discouraged by the brutality of their slavery. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go back to Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and tell him to let the people of Israel leave his country. But Lord, Moses objected, My own people won't listen to me anymore. How can I expect Pharaoh to listen? I'm such a clumsy speaker. Wow, what a story. God promised to free the Israelites from slavery, but they still wanted to give up. They had a hard time really believing that their situation would ever change. Sometimes it feels like that in our own lives, too. But we're going to learn from Moses as we go on in these stories that even when we're feeling our lowest and most discouraged, that's where Christ meets us. That's where he's come to set us free, to show us how good he really is. And that, my friends, is good news. Well, hey, we've done it. We've done it again. We've spent another day in the Bible, and I plan on being back here again tomorrow to do the same thing, Lord willing. Lord willing, in the creek don't rise, I plan on being here. Until tomorrow, let's go forward in God's joy. Let's let his joy be our strength. And let us always remember this, that you are loved. No doubt about it. Alrighty, I'll talk to you tomorrow. You guys take care.